Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to walk you through building and deploying a Python Flask REST API from scratch. Especially we'll be creating a movie recommendation API. Uh, we'll cover everything from setting up the API locally, implementing basic CRUD functionality, and finally deploying it to Heroku so you can make it accessible to anyone over the web. Whether you're just getting started with Flask or looking to deploy your first web service, uh, this tutorial is perfect for you. So let's dive right in. All right, so before we start, I'm gonna assume that you have already installed Python on your computer. And if you haven't, please do so. Uh, next, uh, we're gonna create a folder after opening our Visual Studio. New folder, we're going to call it the uh, API tutorial. Select folder. Uh, open the terminal. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, uh, create a virtual environment so Python uh, M uh, my environment. okay to start uh, your Virtual environment, you type in my n um, backslash scripts backslash activate. And uh, okay, first thing we're gonna install Flask pip install uh, Flask. Okay, next we're gonna uh, uh, create a API uh, Python file. So new file API.py and we're gonna put our code in here. Uh, this code that I'm putting in right now, it's gonna be available in the video description. Uh, there's gonna be a link to my GitHub account. Okay, so um, let's go over this code. Uh, first, uh, first off, we're gonna import necessary libraries, uh, Flask, uh, JSONify, and Request. Uh, Flask is a micro web framework uh, that allows us to create web applications, and in this case, API. Uh, JSONify is used to convert our Python dictionaries into JSON responses and uh, uh, request allows us to access data sent by the client so this is so this right here is our uh, list of movies uh, each has uh, ID title uh, genre and uh, rating and this will be used through the API to demonstrate uh, how we can interact with the movies. Uh, now let's create the first route. Right here, uh, this is a get endpoint that's, that allows us to retrieve all the movies from our list. And uh, there's a get function get movies function 
which simply returns the movie, li movie list in JSON format. Uh, the next one is the get movies uh, by genre. Uh, you can pass the genre in the URL and this function uh, will uh, return all movies that match. Uh, we are using a list comprehension to filter through the movies and then uh, we return the filtered list along with the count. All right, the next one is uh, another get endpoint that allows us to get movie recommendation based on a minimum rating. Um, so the rating is passed as a query parameter and the function filters out the movies that meet or exceed that rating. Uh, this is useful for getting the top rated movies from our list. So this route uses a post method uh, to add new movies. Uh, the client sends the movie data as JSON and uh, we append it to our movie list. Uh, we also automatically assign an ID to the new movie uh, ensuring it doesn't conflict with existing IDs. Um, we also wanted to be able to update the movies uh, this put method right here does that. Um, the client passes the movie ID in the URL and uh, the movie gets updated. So the next one is the delete. Um, right here, this is the last one. We have the delete endpoint that allows us to remove uh, movies by its ID. Uh, we use a global keyword to modify the movie list and filter out the movie that matches the given ID. And at the end we have the if name equal main. Uh, this ensures our app will only run if the script is executed directly and not when imported as a module elsewhere. Uh, we set the debug to true so that any errors are easier to track during development. Okay, now let's run the code. Uh, Python API.py Okay. So this API is now available on our local machine. You just go to this link. Okay. And what you can do is get, for example, list of all the movies. So .api.movies. Okay. Um, you can also test this API using curl or postman. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to use postman at the end of this video. Uh, now we have uh, Flask API running locally. Next, we're going to deploy it to Heroku, so it's going to be available over the internet. Uh, first, uh, we're going to install uh, Heroku CLI. Um, from this link right here. So you go to this link, 
come down get installation depends in, and depending on what what you have a Linux machine or Mac OS uh, I have Windows so if you have Windows like me you just go in here and uh, download it from this link all right uh, <clears throat> now we're gonna create a file these are the files that uh, Heroku needs uh, for it to run so we have the first file is uh, called proc file new file proc file okay and uh, type in web column uh, space G unicorn API <clears throat> colon uh, app okay save we're done with this file so you can close it um, we need another file called uh, requirements.txt uh, which is going to list all our dependencies and the way to create this file you just say pip uh, freeze requirement requirements requirements.txt okay and um, we need another file called runtime.txt runtime.txt in this uh, file uh, you need to put the Python version that you have installed on your computer uh, so if you don't know the version you just say Python dash dash version and it says right here Python 3.111 it's important that you type it exactly this way Python dash uh, 3.1111 or whatever Python version uh, you're using okay we're done with this file uh, so we're done with this file <clears throat> next we need to install uh, pip install uh, G unicorn Just run a uh, pip freeze uh, requirements.txt to get updated. Uh, requirements.txt. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> now you need to deploy it to Heroku and you need to log in. That's the first thing you need to do. So, Heroku, uh, login. Press any key. The browser is going to open and you're going to log in. It says logged in. You can close this uh, page. Now initialize the Git repository. Uh, make sure you're in your project folder and type in Git in it.
next add your file to the repository get add dot get commit um, initiate initial commit for deployment Uh, next, uh, you need to create a Heroku app. So, uh, Heroku create. I'm going to call it uh, movie uh, mingle dash 200. You can call it whatever you want. You just have to try different names. Uh, until you find one that's not taken. Okay, now you need to deploy it to Heroku. The way you do it is just say git push uh, Heroku master. Okay, now uh, you can open your uh, deployed API. Heroku, open. Okay, it's working now, and your API is on the internet now. You can access it from anywhere. So now you can say, for example, dash, API uh, dash movies you get the movies list of the movies um, <clears throat> so this was a simple get request uh, now we can uh, try postmaster uh, for other endpoints such as uh, post, put, or delete. So let's do that. First, uh, download the Postmaster if you don't have one. Here's the link right here. Uh, I'm gonna also include that uh, in the video description. So you just download, okay. Um, <clears throat> I already downloaded it, so I'm just going to open it for you to see. So after you download it, this is what you're going to see. You can try to get by uh, entering URL for your API slash API slash movies send and here it is. This is the list of the movies. All right, now let's try different endpoints. Uh, we're gonna try to post. So for post, we're gonna use the same URL. Uh, select post here, select raw, and select JSON. Type in the information for the new movie that you're trying to add as a JSON format Six. 
text, for example. And you just say send. And to make sure that it was added, uh, you can select get with the same URL and press send. And uh, down here, you'll see that it was added in the movie list. So another thing we can do is update the movie list. For that, we're gonna use the put endpoint. And we're gonna select the movie with the ID one. And we're gonna type in the changes we wanna make in JSON format here. Uh, title, we're going to update it to Inception Updated, and Rating, we're going to change it to 9. Press Send. We can double check to see if it was updated by going back to Get Endpoint. All the movies. And you can see the first one with ID 1. Uh, inception updated and the rating has changed to 9.0 the last one is the delete endpoint so select delete and we're gonna delete movie with the ID 1 send movie deleted to verify All right, and you can see that the movie with ID number one has been deleted. Also, if you encounter any uh, issues, uh, you can try uh, Heroku logs dash dash tail. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. I hope this video helped you understand how to create and deploy a Flask API step by step. Uh, if you found this tutorial useful, uh, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content on Python, web development and more. Uh, don't forget to check out the GitHub link in the description to get the full code. And if you have any questions or topics you would like me to cover next, uh, drop them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.